So you have a lot of video already filmed to create reels, but you want to get a little creative and speed up, slow down. Well, guess what? I just found the coolest way to speed up, slow down existing footage, and it has some really cool functions you're going to want to know. Hi, I'm Wonderful Ida, an educational video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. I teach you how to film yourself so you can film once to teach many. If you want to leverage your expertise to make money, then make sure to subscribe to my channel because I have new videos every Wednesday. When you add existing footage, so footage off your camera roll into Instagram Reels, you don't have much control of what you can do with that footage. So let's go into Reels and let's swipe up to add a video from my camera roll. I'm just going to go to this from yesterday. It's just a shot of me walking. It'd be nice if I could speed this up a little bit so I could just show the view going by faster. So you can see when I go to upload it, all I can do is really zoom in. I can zoom out. I can zoom out to make it really tiny or zoom in. But And I can control when I start the clip and when I end the clip. But then after I add it, I can't really go back in there and make any changes. All I can do is delete or trim that audio. I can go over here into preview and I can add filters to the video itself. So here you can see there's filters and there's special effects that I can add. So I can go in through here and there's stuff like that, but there's nothing really that helps with speed. So in order to change video speed, oh, this looks really trippy. Wow. <laughs> in order to change video speed of existing footage, we're going to need to use another app. And this app is free and it has so many amazing controls and I strongly, highly suggest that you get this now because you're gonna love it. Okay, so the app is called CapCut. So I'm gonna go into CapCut and I'm going to make a new project. I'm gonna add my clip from yesterday. So there we go, there's that clip from yesterday. I'm gonna add that. And then you're gonna see I have a lot of different controls that I can do to it. But for today, let's keep it simple and let's just play around with the speed. So I'm gonna click on the clip itself and then here at the bottom you see speed. So you have two different options when it comes to speed. Normal means that it's going to slow down or quicken the video clip but it's going to do it steady. It's not going to have any change in speed. It's just gonna be consistent speed change throughout the entire clip. So if I go into normal here, you can see one, one is the actual speed of it. And then as I go up, this is, I'm making it faster. So let's say I make it 10 times. And we can press okay and let's play that. Play the play button. So you can see that made 10 times faster. There we go. Let's go back in there and let's change that speed and let's go slower. So let's go 0.5. So notice also that as you speed up the clip or as you slow down the clip, the length of the clip will change. So if you want to do a speed up a clip of you walking somewhere, make sure that that original clip is very long because as you speed it up, it's going to get really short. And the same thing is when you want to slow something down. When you want to slow something down, then you make sure that your action within the video is really quick so that when you slow it down, it looks nice and smooth and slow. Okay, so by slowing it down to 0, 0.0, there we go. Let's play that. You can see that I'm at tortoise speed right now. <laughs> okay, so let's pause that and let's go into that speed again. So I'm gonna press on it, go into speed, and I'm gonna put it to one. So this is just the original speed I had it in. Okay, there we go. Now, next to normal, we have another thing and it's called curve. And this is where it gets fun. So let's go into curve. And you can see, you can customize this, or you have some preset speeds available here. So as you see it go up and down, so as it goes up, that's increasing the speed, and as it goes down, it's slowing it down. So if we look at this one, the montage, you can see it's going up, slowing down, 
and then it fastens it. So you can watch that again so that you can see that's just the end part. So it's slowing, speeding up, and then it slows back down before it goes normal. So with these, you can play around and get different effects. You can even go in and then see, you can see the curve and so you can edit the curve how you want it to look. So for that, say I want, so I just want it to be normal at the beginning and then I want it to go super fast and then I want it to go back to normal. So let's say that, there we go. So you can preview it as you watch it so you can see, let's make that a little bit smaller. Let's make this like a little bit smaller here. Let's make this bigger here. Ooh, let's see that. Ooh, I like this down. So you can see you could have a lot of fun. You can even get it to go down. Oh, let's see this. Slow and then back to normal. So you can see you can have a lot of fun playing around with this and changing the speed however you want it to change. And then say for example, you just want to do this for yourself. So you can just go into custom. Let's edit that. You'll have all your points and now you can be like, okay, let's start it fast. Then let's slow it down. Then let's go back fast. Normal, oh, let's speed it up at the end. And then you can have a transition to another clip. So this is really fun way to just play around with your clips, change the speed and have fun. So I'm gonna say that one's the one that we like and I'm going to put it into Instagram Reels now. So I'm gonna go and export that. There we go. So now let's go back over to Instagram Reels and get rid of this very trippy video. Go back, let's delete that. Let's upload our new clip. So there it is. You can see that when you export it, it's going to have that cap cut logo appear at the end. And you can easily get rid of that by just trimming the video. So you can see, and I can add it. And now let's preview that. Oh, I still have my effect on. So I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna remove my effect. Which effect is this? There we go. If you click on any other effect and then you click on the effect again, it's just gonna remove all the effects from the video. So there it is, it goes fast, slow, fast, slow. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or better yet, leave me a comment below. This video was actually based on a comment, so thank you for that. And I do have videos that come out each and every week. Until next time, peace.